I oftentimes used to question, why me? And I remember I always used to cry to my mom. She'd always reassure me and be like, Rupa, it's okay, everything happens for a reason. At the beginning, I really struggled with the fact that I have dyslexia because I knew that I was different from all the other kids. I knew that my development was much slower. I couldn't tie my shoelaces. I couldn't walk in a straight line. I couldn't do math. I've had to really work hard. And that was ingrained in me now. When I take on a project, I do everything in my power to make sure that it's successful. And so for me, in my dyslexia, having to adapt that way provides an advantage. I'm Rupe Johal. I'm the Small Business BC Business Development and Sponsorship Manager. We provide resources, support for local entrepreneurs, business owners who want to either start or grow a business in the province of BC. What brings me the most pride is just the general work that we do. The fact that it's a very community-oriented organization aligns well with my personal values. Group provides amazing contributions to Small Business BC. She's thoughtful. She's super intelligent. She's an instrumental part of this leadership team. I wanted to support those who have disabilities. I discovered the President's Group and I decided to pilot something that we called Accessibility Month. And it was basically a month of free education, free resources that Small Business BC would traditionally offer to those who identify as um, individuals with a disability. Having individuals with a diverse background coming into your business can only provide new ideas. Hiring folks with disabilities paints a full picture of community. There are well over 500,000 individuals who identify themselves in BC alone with a disability. To ignore that population is ignoring a large swath of, of folks who can contribute to this society. 57% of employers don't have to make any modifications to their offices to make it accessible. And those that do, the average cost is $500. There are modifications you can make that, that are very simple, even making your work hours a little more flexible. So I would tell my colleagues who are intimidated, don't be afraid, and you're gonna benefit from having them on your team. There's a different thought process or creativity that comes with people who are dyslexic. It's like these wires in, in your brain that instead of just going straight to the plug, they kind of twist and turn and then go to the plug. If we feel like we've exhausted every potential business development opportunity, Roop will always come up with a new idea. I experienced discrimination from having dyslexia a lot. First it was as a child, then as I got older experiencing discrimination from teachers because they weren't educated on the fact that dyslexia is a gift. That's when I realized that this is something that I want to carry forward with me forever. In advocating that dyslexia is not something for anybody to ever be ashamed about. I want to fight for everybody who ever experienced that hurt that somebody feels when they are looked at differently because I never want to feel that again and I never want anybody else to ever have to experience that. For the longest time I, I don't know that I would have considered my addiction a, a disability. It's something I knew I had to live with. I was so used to hiding in a closet as a young gay person. I knew how to hide in a closet as an alcoholic but I'm now at a point in my life where I feel very comfortable sharing that. I am just so grateful to this 12-step program, to all of my family and friends who've helped support me along the way. And I've been sober now for 22 years. It's a lifelong journey now. And uh, I'm just so grateful to be able to help and support other folks in the same situation. So at Small Business BC, one of our values is inclusivity and uh, diversity. And we want to make sure that we're creating an atmosphere so that anybody coming through these doors will feel comfortable I feel very supported having dyslexia working at Small Business BC. It wasn't something that I addressed straight away um, because it shouldn't have to be. And so I first started off with mentioning it to my management once I had onboarded at SBBC and it didn't influence their perspective on me. It didn't make them question my capability to do the job. If anything, it was an asset. I don't want people to treat me differently because I'm dyslexic. It's just a part of who I am, just like my eyes are brown. I want to prove to those who thought that I couldn't that I can and I have.